Hey there, thanks for checking out the video. Today I have a little treat for you. It is a pricing plan toggle switch, which I've already created in a funnel and you can download, check the link below. I've used it in this particular use case as a toggle for a pricing plan, but you could use it for other things if you know how to handle the code. I've seen a couple of examples of this on the internet, but some, some of them are a little bit tricky to get your head around. So I've tried to simplify it as much as possible meaning that you won't actually have to do any coding and you can change the whole thing within the Go High Level page builder. So let's take a look. So here we have our rather gorgeously designed page, if I do say so myself. And as you can see, it's one of your standard pricing plan pages that are very common across the internet. One nice feature that a lot of these plans have, which isn't native to Go High Level, is a toggle switch that allows you to switch between two different plans. And as you can see, as I flick this switch here, we're getting two different prices based upon whether it's annually or monthly. Pretty cool, huh? I'm now gonna break it down in the rest of the video and take a dive into the actual page itself so you can see what's going on behind the scenes and you'll know how to implement it for yourself. Here I am in the high level page builder. Before you is the pricing table which I have laid out here and all of this is done using standard high level elements. This page uses three pieces of code in order to perform the function and it's very simple. You don't need to know code in order to be able to use it. You can either copy and paste the code that I've put in here or just simply use this page and redesign it or restyle it to whatever branding you need. First up we'll dive into the HTML which I've placed in here. And if I open the code editor, you can see uh, this is the code for the toggle box. So basically it's some HTML, which creates this little section just here. If you wanted to swap out these words here, you'd simply just come into the code and change these and click save and update. And you would see that reflected with these two words here. Inside the code element above, I've placed the JavaScript, which allows this to happen. It's pretty simple and you don't even need to go into this. This does all the hard work for you so you don't have to. And the final bit of code is just some custom CSS which we have up here. And you can either copy and paste this into your own page along with the other bits of code or just edit this page completely. And that is basically the makeup of the three bits of code. Now in order to get this to work you need to have two separate versions of the pricing plan. As you can see, we have these inside two separate rows. So all you need to do is create whatever, you can either use these or create your own pricing plans. You just need to make sure it's contained in a row. And for each of these rows, you need to add a custom class. So all you have to do is come over to the advanced tab over here. And as you can see, We've already got a custom class in place here. This one's for the annual plan. And for the row below, this is for the monthly plan. Now you need to make sure that you name these classes exactly how they are written here. The only other thing that you need to do in order to make this function correctly, is obviously we can see both of these pricing plans at the moment. If you come into the pricing plan below, Go to the advanced and simply add a class by the name of hide. It will hide that second row so that it isn't visible when the page loads. In order to view that second row again, second row, obviously we have to delete the hide class, which is referenced in the CSS to hide that particular row. Uh, but if you've moved away, you won't be able to grab hold of it because it's been it vanished. You just need to come over here into the layers, go to page, Go to section and find that third row. By clicking on this third row here, it will bring up the controls for that particular row, even though it's hidden. Just click on the advanced, delete the hide, and it will appear again. Just make sure you put the hide back when you're finished editing it. As these rows are built using the high level builder, if you need to change any styles at all, you simply do it through the standard control panel over here. For those of you who need to fine tune this sliding toggle here. If you go into the CSS 
and scroll down towards the bottom you will find uh, there's a couple of color references if you need to change it you just add in your own branding colors and it will change the toggle everything else is controlled from within high level and just as a reminder be sure to find that second row and add the height class like so so that when you preview it only one of the rows will be showing and the toggle works beautifully and there you go simple as that if you've got any questions please leave a comment below check out the description as well for a link to the website where you can download this particular funnel page and then install it into your own high level i hope you find it useful until the next time